Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Rajit and I am the host of One Illumined Heart, a brand new, this is my very first video on YouTube. I'm very excited to share my work, my thoughts, and the opportunity for helping raise humanity's frequency with you. I want to teach you how we do this. Um, I'm also very excited that I'm doing this on April 6, 2020. We are in the middle of um, the COVID scenario. I'm choosing to not call it a crisis. I think it's a grand crossroads, um, a grand bridge that we are having an opportunity to cross um, where all of us are being asked to look at our lives differently. So here at One Illumined Heart, I am totally dedicated to assisting the family of mankind in raising our human consciousness on a personal level as well as a global level. Plus in this process, as I teach people how to raise their frequency from level to level, um, those of you who are ready, I want to support you in learning how to build your crystalline grid so that together we can co-create a new world, a new reality that so many of us have been seeking for so long that is based on love and mutual respect and harmony and connection to all of life. Because the truth is we are all such grand and beautiful beings. And I think that in this crazy world that we've had, we've lost sight of that. We've lost touch with the value of one another, the value of the beautiful land that the divine has given us in this co-creation, for the beautiful, healthy waters that we used to have, for the clean air that we used to breathe. So if you wanna go back to creating a life that is more healed, and more conscious or go forward into that actually, but restore what is wonderful and beautiful, then you have reached the right place. If you want to be an assistant in this co-creation and want to know how, and if your frequency is up to the shifting of uh, a society that's based on love, we would love to have you join us in doing this work. If you need assistance in trying to figure out who it is that you are, what your frequency is, what your purpose is, I would love to be able to support to help you to do that as well. Some of you who are listening already know that you are light workers, and but you don't know what your where your frequency is at, and are you building a crystalline grid, and are you having the right diet to support it? I am happy and honored to share that information with you on an individual basis or in small groups with Zoom. Um, if you are not sure you're a light worker, but you have a heart desire to be part of this healing on our planet, you are definitely in the right place and will help you raise your frequency so that you can tune into your own who it is that you are and what it is you want to be doing and how to go about doing that. I totally want to support people in becoming the powerful agents of healing change that each of us can be in the world that we live, in the community that you live. All of us have our own individual unique fingerprint. We know that. And that's also true on a soul level. Each of us has a unique talent, a gift, a skill, a perspective that can be shared to help reshape a world. We're going to need everyone with everyone's talents. No one has it all, all the information. So on a global level and a personal level, we are needing to do awakening. We know for those of us who've been awake and awakening that humanity's lifestyle, what it has been, God, in probably the last 50 years or so, 40 for sure, has been pretty darned unsustainable. Um, for many of us in our hearts, there's this huge cry to create a change in our lives and the way we see the world. So many of us can no longer turn a deaf ear or a blind eye to what is going on. Some of us are hearing 
the deafening, painful screams of sentient life of animals on this planet, as well as human beings that are being abused and disregarded and disrespected. Some of us are in deep pain and are not being able to turn a blind eye to the degradation of our environment and the abuse of our environment and the allowing of huge companies to desecrate the very planet that we live on uh, all for money. So we have to move back to making some choices about how do we want to restore who it is that we are, what it is that we want to give, and what it is we want to share with this world. Our vision, each of us has a vision. And if you have a vision to co-create a better world, please stay tuned here because now is the opportunity for us to raise the frequency of um, our human consciousness to facilitate these kind of needed changes. So you're probably asking, well, who are you to be able to offer this? Um, and how do we do conscious frequency raising? Uh, what is a grid? What is a crystalline body? Um, what is this that you're talking about? And um, I want to share with you how it is that I can help and what it is that I know. So who it is that I am, as I said, I'm Rajit. I've done um, 48 years of um, meditation. I wish I could say it was 100%, but it wasn't. But over the years, it's gotten better. Um, but I've been tuned in spiritually uh, to doing my own healing and conscious raising as well as being keenly aware of what was going on on the planet and what needed healing and changing. And so um, I have been, for over 35 years, been working with several thousand people in helping them do transformational healing, their own soul healing, their emotional body healing, their physical body healing, mental body healing, where that is connected to their spirituality to perhaps past lives that they've been connected to, to or trauma that they've had uh, in this life, in other lives, uh, or perhaps the traumas in their um, ancestral lineage that needs to be released. There are many, many levels that I work with with people. Uh, one of the things that I'm able to do also is um, to assist people in reading their soul history. So that is known as the Akashic Records, that's the formal name. And that is spelled A-K-A-S-H-I-C, in case you're going to go Google it. Um, and I've been able to read those uh, for, well, actually since 2002. I also do Tibetan body and soul reading, which is how I can read the frequency of a person and, and, and measure uh, where they are at. It's a very, very ancient um, tool. Um, I, and, and one of the things that I learned in, in doing that work was that I saw in, for, first of all, in 1994, I saw for the first time, literally like, um, the high school math paper grid, little boxes all over a person. And it was like so shocking to see, but it was the beginning of a really huge message of the importance of the grid that you and I live in. So I'm going to be showing you a visual picture of in, in future videos of what a grid looks like and what is the sacred grid and how do we come more to understanding what it is and what we can do to heal our beings in that grid. How do we illumine that grid and carry more light? What is in the way of doing that? So there are many, many, many things that are in the way of doing that. And one of them is that um, oftentimes we have massive unforgiveness uh, toward ourselves, toward others, toward God, from past lives, from other dimensions, wherever it is coming up. But it is sitting with us in our grid and it keeps us from moving forward or moving as forward as quickly as we can. And we can accelerate that process with doing forgiveness work. Um, the other thing that we're going to be doing is teaching you how to strengthen your immune system by clearing your grid, by raising your frequency. That helps you to be more resistant to illnesses that are coming down the pike and have been coming down the pike. Um, and that will also help you uh, co-create more of a stronger uh, grid embodiment.
uh, the uh, ancestral lineage information is really important because a lot of us will sometimes will go, well, why am I crying at the drop of a hat? Why am I all of a sudden feeling really angry or have so much sorrow or grief up when I look at my life and everything's really okay? Well, we are at an interesting time on the planet where our frequencies are changing and the planet's frequency is changing. And what's being released from our bodies are these ancestral memories. And if we become aware of how they move through us, why they're moving through us, and you don't feel so victimized then by what is going on and how to deal with it. I would love to be able to help you to do that. So you can move from confusion and bewilderment into a place of knowing uh, that you can have a handle on this. And there's so many beautiful tools out there. And of course, as most of you know, there are thousands of really incredible, beautiful, beautiful healers out on the planet. And I think it's really important that each of us find the people in our tribe that we're meant to work with, the people that resonate with what it is that we're trying to transform, to heal, to move through. All right, some other things that we're going to be covering on this channel, and I love this part, is to share with people um, how many guides they have and how many angels they have and what happens when you get to 10th dimensional frequency and how do you get there? Because that's the place where you get 16,000 angels attached to you permanently. Um, there's all kinds of beautiful things that have to do with guides and angels. And I want to share with people how to use them, how to acknowledge them, how to allow them to love and support you and kind of like put them to work. Actually, there was um, a lovely book that a naturopathic doctor put out. Uh, uh, it was called Hiring the Heavens that kind of changed my life about how many years ago, maybe 16, 18 years ago. And I loved reading that book because it gave me a window into another way of seeing how to be with my angels and how to get their love and support and how to work with them. Uh, and I want to be able to share that with you as well. Also doing that, getting in touch with your guides and angels and taking the time to have quiet time allows you to begin to hear them and to also develop the skill of hearing your own inner truth, your own inner voice. When we want to up level that understanding, that knowingness. Um, the other things that I want to talk about is the importance of color in healing. Um, what colors me mean and what their purpose can be in our growth process when we're doing the spiritual healing work. So for instance, today I deliberately wore um, royal blue and royal blue equals the consciousness of God connected to the human soul and the body. Who ever knew that? And so when I do sessions with people, I first do a clearing energy, but then I always bring in royal blue to support them in their healing to support the stability in their grid to allow the power the love and the wisdom of the creator of the divinity to move into their field to move through their body to move through their bones and then to allow them to witness those colors on the inside of them when they're having a healing it's such a precious and beautiful experience to see the vivid colors and how they bring healing to different parts of the body, to different levels of consciousness on the way up. So I'm excited to share that with you. I'm also excited to share the value and uses of essential oils, which can be used for our spiritual growth, as well as for physical healing, emotional healing, mental stability. So we'll be covering those things, as well as the use of flower essences. Flower essences are beautiful for balancing and bringing comfort and support to the emotional body as well as the mental body. And so there are so many beautiful things that I want to help people awaken to that are tools. There are also beautiful tools like EFT, you know, emotional freedom technique, the tapping technique. There are, uh, there's breath work that you can do. There's meditations, there's mantras, there's chanting, 
There are prayers that you can use to up-level your frequency, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. And the power of the solfeggio frequencies, these beautiful frequencies at different hertz that help support physical healing, mental balance, releasing fear, releasing negativity, putting in positivity, um, healing organs, changing the DNA and healing that, healing gland frequencies, opening up your third eye, opening up the pineal gland, all of that. It's all here. We're going to be covering many, many different things so that I can help you awaken to the beauty and the truth of who you are so that you can embrace that for yourself for every person who embraces who they are and shares that with the world. The world will be such a much better place for not only you, but for ourselves so we can heal our perceptions and our perspectives and also see what real possibility we have as human beings. So helping you find your soul purpose and your heart's desire is also part of what One Illumined Heart mission is to do as well as lift everyone's frequency so that we can move on and create a more unified, healed world that supports everyone, that honors everyone in all walks of life. I choose to embrace and always have in my practice people from all religions or no religion. I embrace you exactly where you are because we have to honor where we are before we can create change or move forward or expand the already awareness that you might have of the beauty of who you are. So that is it for today. I am grateful that you stopped and listened to this channel. Thank you for uh, sharing this with other people. If you enjoyed what you heard and want to hear more, please push the little like button as well as the subscribe button to that will way you'll be notified when I have my next video up. I will try to begin to do them on a regular basis. I'm beginning right now creating the format, um, setting up a website. So all of that will hopefully all be done within a month. So from now until then, I'll be doing probably two videos a week. And after that, it, they might be more often. We'll see what happens. I'm also going to get leave information about uh, reaching me for private sessions, as well as group sessions with either people that you know, or the Zoom classes that I'll be doing for people of specific frequencies to work together to raise their frequency so that we can work on similar things at the same time. I will be using uh, toning and uh, sound healing of different kinds as well as sharing if you're open to having be shared what needs healing in your personal grid if you want to have that shared in the group um, as well as doing personal work. So thank you again for stopping by. God bless and um, the creator, namaste to all of you. The divine is living and loving each one of you. And so it is. Thank you.